Hey everybody, I wanna share with you a way to use Pear Deck in a synchronous mode with students in Google Meet. So I have uh, started a Google Meeting and I've got uh, my kids' um, account as an example. And the way I want to start this is I want to first start off in my Google Meeting uh, and I want to present my screen. And I'm gonna use present my entire screen because that's just the easiest way to do it. When I click that, I click on the little thumbnail of my screen and then I click on the share button. I'm gonna come back over here to Pear Deck now that I'm presenting. And what I want to do is I want to show the students my welcome message and go through our, our class routines. But really what I wanna do is I wanna show them that there are two important things that they need to be able to see on their computer when I'm presenting Pear Deck synchronously. The first one, of course, is they need the red dot for Google Meet. The second one down here is the green pair for the Pear Deck. You will probably at some point want the students to go back and forth to either one of them. So it's important that they recognize that when they look across their tabs in Google Chrome, that they look for those two particular tabs. Okay. So once I've got the students prompted and they're onboarded with that information, I can actually begin my Pear Deck presentation. I can come up here either to the Pear Deck button or click add-ons and I can choose Pear Deck for Google Slides and open the add-on which will appear over here on the left hand part of the screen. Now obviously I've created Pear Deck um, slides with the Pear Deck overlay so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start on the baseball gameplay slide and I'm going to start the lesson and then of course this is going to be an instructor paced activity which would be appropriate for synchronous instruction. If this was going to be asynchronous and you were going to share the link in Schoology you would want to choose self paced. I have a separate video about that. So for this we're going to choose instructor paced and it will take a few seconds for it to load up and it will load all the slides into Pear Deck. So when it loads, it will open up this window, which is the teacher dashboard, and we are going to need that. But for right now, I'm gonna slide it over to the side because what I really need is this down here is to give the students the link to, to the Pear Deck. So I just click on give students the link, which is copied to the clipboard. And what I want to do most likely is go to the chat in Google Meet and paste that for the students to receive. Now this is assuming that your students already know how to um, interact in the chat window. So I'm going to come over here to my one child's account. I'll have a click on that one and I'll come over to the other child's account and I'll click on that. Children may need to log in with their Google account. If they do, they just click on the correct Google account and now they are seeing the slide that I wish to display, which is um, the baseball uh, gameplay slide. I can see down here that there are two students connected and since I know that there are only two students I know that all students are now in so I can just close this and I'll bring back open teacher dashboard. So what I want to do is I want to be able to see both teacher dashboard and this and so I'm going to use the teacher dashboard to sort of control what the students are seeing. So down here, I've got the uh, forward and backward button. So I'll just click on the forward button to go to the next slide. And you can see behind here that uh, the students are seeing this uh, draggable question, which says, how much do you know about baseball already? I can drag all the way over to here. And notice that in my teacher dashboard, I am seeing what the students are doing in the dashboard. I'll put this one in the middle so it's obvious that it's a different answer. So I can see my two answers here. If I mouse over it, I can see which student has um, put the dot there. You can also see the slide notes that if you've put slide notes or speaker notes into the Google Slides, they will show up here. This will help you um, remember what it is you want to say about this particular slide. When the students are done answering, you just click on next and you notice that it's sli uh, the slide changes. Right here, it's telling you that you're waiting for the students to respond. So back over here on the student side, it says how many defensive players are on the baseball field at one time? The students can type in the answer. They don't have to put, uh, they don't have to hit enter. It just automatically shows up. And so you can see in this, this graph that the uh, both students have entered nine. 
So what they want to do is you would just continue going through this manner. You can wait for the students to respond, keeping in mind that Hair Deck does not grade any responses, but you do see the responses. And again, you mouse over and you can see the names of the students who responded. And you just sort of go through this as you would any other slideshow. So hopefully that helps you use Pear Deck synchronously with your students. Once you're done with the uh, presentation, once you're done, click end with the lesson. Give the lesson a name. And this is a nice little feature that we have because we subscribe to it is the takeaways. What that will do if we publish takeaways is it will give you a custom link that you can give to your students which will then allow them to see their responses to the questions. It also gives them a copy of the slide, so it's good for a study guide. So I can copy that, and then I can paste it into Schoology or anywhere else you can put it so that the students can get it. So I'll just click on paste under the student account here, and it'll take a minute or so for the Pear Deck to generate the slides that include the answers from that particular student. The link, even though it's the same link, it does take each student to their own individual answers so that they get their answers only. And so this is an example of what the uh, responses, the takeaways look like from the student point of view. And you can see over on the left is the slide and over on the right is how the student responded. Here's the question, how many defensive players? There's the student response and down here, uh, is the multiple choice question and the answer that the student responded with as well as the other answer choices so that they know which one they selected. So there's lots to do with uh, Pear Deck synchronously as well as asynchronously. So I hope that this video is helpful. 